Hello friends, I have a quick video for you today from the studio. On this channel, we talk about gear. We talk about photography technique, I share my projects, but sometimes there are tools that are integral to our work or <laughs> that we simply enjoy that somehow don't make it into videos. Today, I will share some of those things. Maybe they'll be helpful to you as well. First though, we need to thank the sponsor of this portion of today's video, Jackery. You have seen me use solar generators in the past, but they were all much larger than this. Now those are great, but when Jackery reached out to me, I was immediately interested in one of their smallest units. I was already familiar with Jackery. In the last couple of years, I've seen a few of my favorite YouTubers using Jackery units for their van lives and off-grid homestead projects, which helped me to take the jump in accepting a sponsorship with them. And now that I have been using this Jackery 300 plus solar generator, I'm glad I did. If you are new here or somehow haven't seen Raymond and I off grid in our videos before, we like to get way out there and we wanna have our cameras and our drones and our computers and tablets, our phones, lighting, and whatever else that we wanna bring with us. So power is essential. Once I received this, it took almost no time at all to get it set up. I have a kit that comes with a solar panel. I tried out the solar panel to charge up the unit, but it does come also with an AC cable for charging at home as well. And it actually only takes two hours to charge this from zero to 100% when you plug it into the wall. I'm sure I'll make use of both, but when I'm in the field for multiple days, having a solar panel to recharge is essential. Plus, this only weighs 8.27 pounds. <laughs> If you've been around my channel lately, you'll know that I've had some serious back troubles in the last year. I have been cleared to slowly start adding all of my normal stuff, including carrying groceries and such, but I still have a lot of trouble with movements like picking things up to like lean over and put them in the car. And having this lightweight solar generator is a lifesaver for me right now. And I know a lot of you out there might find this attractive for that reason too. I will be taking this solar generator and solar panel out on a camping trip soon to really put it to the test. You will see that soon. And in that video, I will get more into exactly what devices and how much I am powering with this. Now this is the smallest solar generator that Jackery offers. If you are interested in something larger, they do have those as well. They have a whole range of models and solar panels for you to get exactly what you want. You can get to all of those in the link in the description of this video. Using the links helps Jackery know to keep on working with us, but you can also Google Jackery 300 plus to find out more. Multi cables. These are charging cables that split and have multiple heads with different types of plugs. A combination of lightning, USB-C, and micro USB usually, but we have several different types. Raymond discovered these years ago, and we have amassed quite the collection. We have them all over. The kids have them. They're in our cars. We use them when we travel. It's just really handy to have a few of these multi-cables. Instead of searching for the exact cable that you need and maybe having forgotten to bring it. I'll put links to a few different options that we've used in the description of this video. Next is a bigger item. It is the Insta360 1RS 1 inch 360 edition. I adore this thing. We have used Insta360 cameras for years, but when I saw this one, I had to have it. We love using 360 degree video for B-roll because we can set the camera on a tripod or the invisible selfie stick and just let it run. And then I can choose how to orient the footage while I'm editing. I can even have the footage pan around. This is Insta360's first 360 camera that uses a one inch sensor, which helps with the light performance. And since we are often in dim conditions like sunrise, I will take every bit of extra low light performance that I can get. And incidentally, I did also use this recently on the long selfie stick to look into the gutters on my parents' house. 
a bird had built a nest and we wanted to know if there were eggs in it without bringing the ladder over and sticking my nose in there. So I just used this in Insta360's app so I could see um, like live view and yeah, there were no eggs in it in case you're curious. I did clean out the nest and the bird has since moved on. Raymond has been using this small rig base plate for our Nikon Z7. It was actually a part of an L bracket set and small rig has a bunch of other options for many cameras base plates, L brackets, cages, all sorts of other little things. Actually, we have a handful of items from them and everything is really well thought out and well made. Anyway, the reason that Raymond wanted this is because the Z7 body has always just been a little bit small for his hands, like his pinky would kind of slip off the bottom. I mean, it hasn't stopped him from using it, but when he used the Z8, which has a slightly taller body, he went on a mission to find this. It just brings the body a little bit taller so that he feels he has a better hold on the camera. Plus the bottom has a dovetail so that you can set this right down into most Arca Swiss compatible tripod heads. And that's super helpful. I actually have a similar one for the Leica SL2. Um, this one's from Really Right Stuff though. I specifically purchased this one for use with this quick detach. Um, and because I was able to move quickly between photo and video, between having it around my neck and having it on a tripod. Anyway, super handy to have, and I will link all these in the description. Speaking of really right stuff and the QD, um, ways you can carry your camera. I get asked about these dongles a lot. They are a part of the Peak Design camera strap system. Because there are two photographers in this house, and because we have a lot of gear that I have displayed on these shelves, this system where you hang these dongles on your cameras or your lenses and then quickly connect or disconnect the strap is really handy for us. Raymond likes to use a wrist strap. I usually don't. Sometimes I want to use a cotton carrier strap instead. Sometimes I don't want a strap on the camera and I want it to just be sitting on my shelf. This just makes it easier to use whatever strap I want or no strap. Next are these different housings that Raymond purchased so that we could repurpose the hard drives from our old laptops into handy little external hard drives for photo and data sharing. Way back, we had a plastic unibody MacBook and an aluminum MacBook Pro. They were purchased around 2010, and we've mostly kept them alive since then. But new computers have replaced them. And as a small project, we tried to salvage what we could from those old computers. And we knew we had upgraded the storage in the old laptops. So it was time to crack them open and see what we had done. And bravo to us, or really to Raymond, we'd added a one terabyte hard drive to each in the place of the DVD drive. And we had upgraded, upgraded the base drive on one of them to a terabyte, while well, the other one came with a terabyte. In short, we were decommissioning laptops that each had two terabytes inside. And while storage is cheap, reclaimed storage is free. <laughs> the SSD out of the four drives went into my legacy iMac back here as its drive was failing. Raymond put the new drive in, which does require pulling the screen glass off, so be careful. But the end result was, and thank you so much to Raymond for your handiwork, the iMac, my love, which has been a fixture in my YouTube workflow since the very beginning, remains here in the studio, ready for some relevant content behind me or just to have its super cool, legendary industrial design shining through. The processor is old and slow, so we put a lightweight Linux distribution in it, which squeezes some solid performance out of it. I mean, your phone probably has a faster processor, but a phone wouldn't fill up the space quite as nicely. That was a bit of a tangent, <laughs> back to the housings. While you can connect loose laptop drives to your computer with a serial ATA cable, for a very low price, you can buy a USB housing for your drive, which gives it some protection so that we can trade these drives back and forth and even travel with them. Performance of these old drives is slow. It's nothing like connecting the latest USB SSD to your computer, but our reasoning is that 
we can share content when we need to with each other and it's separate and not occupying space on our internal hard drives or the fast external drives that we rely on for content production, like these SSDs. Our rule is that since these old hard drives are old and we'll be passing them around, they will never be our only storage for whatever files are on them. That way, if one of them goes bad, it's old. While it's not a laughing matter, it's not an emergency either. Next, this one isn't new, but it is something that I've been using a lot more lately. It's my little Lien photo printer. I do have an entire video on this guy. Um, I've used it a ton since I made that video, but lately I've been using it even more. I've been carrying it around with me. And I'm finding myself capturing more photos of my family, even just with my phone, because I know I can print them out right away and stick them to a notebook or the fridge. And these aren't exactly gallery quality prints, but they are a wonderful, spontaneous way to print photos and keep memories alive. When I was working from bed or the couch after my surgeries this year, I could not use my normal mouse, Apple's Magic Mouse. So I ordered this, the Kensington Orbit Wireless Trackball. I used a Kensington Trackball ages ago, and this was the perfect thing for me to use while I couldn't move my magic mouse around on the surface of my desk. And I really like this because it's wireless. Um, my computer does have Bluetooth, so I don't even need to use the an extra dongle, but this does come with one if you need it. I do generally use my magic mouse when I'm at my desk or one of my looped at consoles if I'm editing. I'll link to videos in the description where I talk about those in the description, just if you're curious, but I do still like this and on days when my back hurts and I just need to work propped up on my back pillow in bed, this comes out. And actually I will link to the special pillow set in the description as well that I have. It's really nice if you have any back issues, it's really supportive and it's not very expensive. Last is a new backpack from Low Pro. I actually haven't been able to use this too much, but I really like it so far and I wanted to mention it today. It is the Photosport X backpack, 35 liter, all weather. We have a number of camera bags and we like all of them. They each serve their own purpose. We've used many low pro bags, um, several in their Photosport line. And this one is pretty new. They sent it just a few months ago. And the intended use for this is mountaineering where you carry things like an ice ax or trekking poles on the outside of your pack. But it's really good for anything. I mean, it's, it's a good looking pack and it's quite customizable. You can choose the camera box size that you need. I have the large Gear Up Pro camera box in here, but you can go bigger if you want. And then this holds so much other stuff. Plus there are loops and cords and connections on the outside of the bag to hang anything else that you need off of it. Years ago, I hung my snowshoes from a low pro photo sport bag with carabiners and random straps that I pulled from other things. It worked, but this bag would have been really nice. Of course, I use all sorts of little things in everyday work. I'm sure as soon as I post this, I'll think of something else that I can't live without. <laughs> I will link to all of the things that I did mention here in the description of this video, along with anything else that I talked about. I know I mentioned things like my back pillows, <laughs> but before you click on those, I want to hear from you. Tell us the little things that you have been loving lately, whether it helps your photography or it's just something you like. Thank you again to Jackery for sponsoring a portion of this video. Remember, you'll find a link in the description to learn more. Thank you for watching.